Zizek's Fundamental Fantasy and the Split of Law, by Matthew Sharp. The Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. For Zizek, as we have seen, no political regime can sustain the political consensus upon which it depends, unless its predominant ideology affords subjects a sense both of individual distance or freedom with regard to its explicit prescriptions, and that the regime is grounded in some larger or sublime truth. Zizek's political philosophy identifies interconnected instances of these dialectical ideas, his notion of ideological disidentification, his contention that ideologies must accommodate subjects' transgressive experiences of jouissance, and his conception of exceptional or sublime objects of ideology. Arguably the central notion in Zizek's political philosophy intersects with Zizek's notion of ideological fantasy. Ideological fantasy is Zizek's technical name for the deepest framework of belief that structures how political subjects, and or a political community, comes to terms with what exceeds its norms and boundaries, in the various registers we examined above. Like many of Zizek's key notions, Zizek's notion of the ideological fantasy is a political adaptation of an idea from Lacanian psychoanalysis, specifically, Lacan's structuralist re-reading of Freud's psychoanalytic understanding of unconscious fantasy. As for Lacan, so for Zizek, the civilizing of subjects necessitates their founding sacrifice, or castration, of jouissance, enacted in the name of sociopolitical law. Subjects, to the extent that they are civilized, are cut from the primal object of their desire. Instead, they are forced by social law to pursue this special, lost thing in Zizek's technical term, the objet pétier by observing their society's linguistically mediated conventions, deferring satisfaction, and accepting sexual and generational difference. Subjects' fundamental fantasies, according to Lacan, are unconscious structures which allow them to accept the traumatic loss involved in this founding sacrifice. They turn around a narrative about the lost object, and how it was lost. In particular, the fundamental fantasy of a subject resignifies the founding repression of jouissance by law, which, according to Lacan, is necessary if the individual is to become a speaking subject, as if it were a merely contingent, avoidable occurrence. In the fantasy, that is, what for Zizek is a constitutive event for the subject, is re-narrated as the historical action of some exceptional individual, in Enjoy Your Symptom. The pre anal father. Equally, the jouissance the subject considers itself to have lost is posited by the fantasy as having been taken from it by this persecutory other supposed to enjoy. In the notion of ideological fantasy, Zizek takes this psychoanalytic framework and applies it to the understanding of the constitution of political groups. If after Plato, political theory concerns the laws of a regime, the laws for Zizek are always split or double in kind. Each political regime has a body of more or less explicit, usually written laws which demand that subjects forego jouissance in the name of the greater good, and according to the letter of its proscriptions, for example, the US or French constitutions. Zizek identifies this level of the law with the Freudian ego ideal. But Zizek argues that, in order to be effective, a regime's explicit laws must also harbor and conceal a darker underside, a set of more or less unspoken rules which, far from simply repressing jouissance, implicate subjects in a guilty enjoyment and repression itself, which Zizek likens to the pleasure and pain associated with the experience of Kant's sublime. The Freudian superego, for Zizek, names the psychical agency of the law, as it is misrepresented and sustained by subjects' phantasmatic imaginings of a persecutory other supposed to enjoy, like the archetypal villain in noir films. This darker underside of the law, Zizek agrees with Lacan, is at its base a constant imperative to subjects to Jewies, by engaging in the inherent transgressions of their socio-political community. Zizek's notion of the split in the law in this way intersects directly with his notion of ideological disidentification. While political subjects maintain a conscious sense of freedom from the explicit norms of their culture, Zizek contends, this disidentification is grounded in their unconscious attachment to the law as superego, itself an agency of enjoyment. If Althusser famously denied the importance of what people have on their consciences in the explanation of how political ideologies work, then for Zizek the role of guilt, as the way in which the subject enjoys his subjection to the laws, is vital to understanding subjects' political commitments. Individuals will only turn around when the law hails them, Zizek argues, insofar as they are finally subjects also of the unconscious belief that the big other has access to the jouissance they have lost as subjects of the law, and which they can accordingly reattain through their political allegiance. It is this belief, what could be termed this political economy of jouissance, that the fundamental fantasies underlying political regimes' worldviews are there to structure in subjects. The End